Okay, can you find 26? Parents of students in this class don't need to go far to catch a glimpse of what their kids are up to. Their teacher, Kaylin Turberfield, runs a Twitter page for the grade two class here at St. Agnes School. My hope is that when they go home and their parents ask them what they did at school today, um, they're not going to reply with the standard nothing. They have something to talk about. They can say, let's look at the Twitter and let's see some of the things that we learned today. Turberfield sees this as a new language that gets students excited. My favorite thing about the Twitter is that my mom can keep track of me. My dad and my mom looks on Twitter. My uncle lives in Germany and the stuff that he can see in our Twitter is like our math and our adding. Wander as they watch me. How easy it would be to make me scream. I was able to understand the experience as I shared a story with the children. I can't do it. Just can't do it. Turberfield also uses Twitter to communicate with parents and connect with other teachers. So far, parents haven't expressed concerns about child safety, but Turberfield is open to removing photos and making the account private if necessary. Technology can be a huge learning tool and there's huge value in using technology and letting these kids experience the right way to use technology. Principal Gail Seren says being aware of potential dangers is part of the online learning experience. As the principal of the school, I want to make sure that technology is being used for the proper, um, proper way in the classroom and kids are taught about digital citizenship in all grades, not just in the classrooms that have Twitter. Ms. Turberfield isn't the only teacher here at St. Agnes School who uses Twitter. The school teaches all its students to use the internet responsibly and to stay safe in the online world. Rochelle Robitaille, CTV News, Moose Jaw.